Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and I do all the lead code and hackering solutions. Got playlists, I got a description, you can just figure it all out yourself. Um, this is number five of the Java hacker rank problem tutorials, so I'm doing all the Java problems, and um, I think this is, yeah, then we have 35 more to go. So um, this one is loops. We're getting into loops here. This is actually some really hard stuff. Um, we got if else's, we got some output, and now we're getting into loops. Uh, in this challenge, we're going to use loops to help us do some simple math. Given an integer n, print its first 10 multiples, each multiple n by i, where 1 is less than i, less than or equal to 10. Should we print it on a new line in the form of n by i equals result? Uh, a string integer n, 2 is less than or equal to n, less than or equal to 20. Print 10 lines of output, where each line i is um, 1, less than or equal to i, less than or equal to 10, contains the results of n by i. So what is a loop? Well, a loop is a cycle, a cycle of events that is going to happen from a certain point, uh, from a certain beginning point to a certain end point. So there's two types of loops that we can use. We can use a for loop or a while loop. In this case, anything that you're counting from a certain point to another point, I use a for loop. Um, so I'm going to do from int i, and it said from 1. Uh, so you, you declare an, a variable, you set it to the beginning point, which is 1 while i is less than or equal to 10, you have an ending point. So while while it's less than or equal to 10, we increment it. So i is, starts at 1, and then we do a loop. And each time, we increment i by 1. So that means that if we were to print out, you know, if we were to print out i here, oh my gosh, sorry, then we're going to get a loop that prints 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if we run this, we should be able to see that. Here we go, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So hopefully you understand the concept but just from that. That should be pretty easy. So all we have to do in this is we just have to print, instead of i from 1 to 10, we're just printing this n, this integer that we're given, this variable we're given, times i, and we have to do some formatting. Now I'm not going to do string formatting. You can actually format these strings and um, have this in one simple print statement, each loop. I'm not going to do that because we're probably going to have to do string formatting in the future anyway. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way, and you guys can, um, you know, look up string formatting if you want to, but we'll do it later. Um, this is just going to give a better example of how you might do a string with just prints and print uh, new lines. So we're going to do print n. We're going to do print times and then we're going to do another print, i, right, because we're doing n times i each time. And you have to do these spaces because these don't have spaces by default. So you have to do n, and then this is going to look like times, so space times, space i, space equals, right, this is how it's looking, right, n times i equals, and then the answer, actually n times i. So this is string formatting, and then the last one's going to be a new line, because each one gets printed on a new line, right? So the new line would start this loop over, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So there we go, pass all test cases, as you can see, we're printing. So you do a bunch of prints, because these all print on the same line, and then you do a new line when you get to the end of each loop, and we do n times i each time. Uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty standard. You can obviously look up string formatting if you want and turn this into one simple print statement, but that's loops. You can use four while loops. Recommend looking them up if you don't know much about them, but uh, thanks for watching. Check out the next one. We'll probably learn a lot more and you'll develop your you know knowledge and uh, become a genius and work at Google. So, all right, see ya.